My name is John Hardy. We're at Animal Health Ireland, Chagas Calf Care Events in support with the co-ops. Um, this board is on preparing calves for sale. Uh, we know that supply of calves may well outstrip demand this year. So having a healthy calf is extremely important and that the health of those calves for sale is as important as the calves that are going to be kept on farm. Um, we know that the newborn calf has no immunity once born and that they gain passive immunity through the ingestion of colostrum. Um, the first milking is the colostrum. Uh, very important that that is got into the calf within two hours of birth and that three litres of clean colostrum uh, is ingested by the calf. So this can be stored on farm, refrigerated or indeed frozen um, and got into the calf. Healthy calves, we know what they look like. They're bright, responsive, alert, mobile, clean, bright eyes and interactive. And when they are risen, they, they stretch out rather than are hunched over. I'm Yoris Summers, the Glambia vet, and as part of having a healthy calf, which is the most suitable calf for sale, you really should have a calf health program on farm. And the two biggest risks for calves in uh, young calves is calf scour and calf pneumonia. Now when we look at the calf scour, in the first month of life, it's the biggest killer in calves. The highest mortality rates in calves is because of scour. The pathogens that really play a role there is rotavirus, coronavirus, and probably crypto. And we've all heard these names before. Now, for rotavirus, coronavirus, in combination with E. coli, there's actually a vaccine available. You can give this in the last trimester to pregnant cows. Now, the protection that this vaccine gives is passed on through the colostrum, so it really depends on optimal colostrum management. When it comes to crypto, it's all about hygiene. Hygiene in the calf environment. If the calf shed has not been cleaned since last calving season, you really should be getting to it. Let it dry and then disinfect the whole environment. If the current calf shed has already been cleaned and dry, now is the time to go in and disinfect it and let it dry before the new wave of calf, calves come in. Once the calves reach over one month, we're into the pneumonia stage um, where this is the biggest risk. And the two drivers for pneumonia in calves is really about shared airspace with older cows and moisture in the cow's environment. Now the shared airspace can be eliminated by moving calves to a separate location. The moisture, it's all about drainage, ventilation and the calves bedding. Two of the most common pathogens that cause pneumonia in young calves are bovine RSV and PI3. There's intranasal vaccines available that can be given to calves from a very early age that will protect the calves there where those viruses enter the calves respiratory system. 